Are you ready for surgery? Yes. Okay, good. No, this is raw in real footage. This morning, I regretted my decision. I, I can hang about another night. Besties, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, I'm Miriam J. We're getting surgery in the morning. I'm so excited. For those of you who don't know, I'm getting lipo 360 plus. That means like I'm getting my upper back lipoed, I'm getting my arms lipoed, and I'm getting a breast augmentation. I still don't know what size I'm gonna get, but we're gonna figure that out tomorrow because they actually ordered me six different implants. And I'm also gonna show him like some inspo photos so maybe he can like help me figure out what size I want. I have been preparing, honestly, I've also been procrastinating too. I have so much that I need to do on top of everything that I've already done. But I've just been a little stressed. Honestly, I've had like a little bit of anxiety. Um, and you know what it is, like I know I'm in good hands. I'm just afraid of the pain. I'm afraid of what's gonna happen after. So I got my Faha from Form RX in Kissimmee. So this Faha, I'm not gonna lie, is a little pricey, but they also include um, all of your adjustments for a year. So yeah, I'm gonna like try it on because I'm like curious. I'm not gonna be able to put this on by myself. So when you're putting on your Faha, you're supposed to roll this part upwards so it can come up like easily and then like you you know when you have it placed where you need it and pull it up a little bit more then you roll it down this is gonna be kind of hard with some boobs okay so she put like a tab here for me to put the the faha for me to anchor the faha like you know around my arms since i'm getting like breasts done she doesn't want to cut off circulation here so she hooked me up with some compression socks then gotta add this we're geared up <laughs> yo this was like so exhausting this took me 10 minutes to get into what <sighs> okay we are compressed honey all right this is a large it's so crazy i'm like used to wearing smalls and stuff but um basically i got it in mocha they recommend you get it in either tan or mocha. They don't want you to get it in black because, like, you won't be able to spot bleeding through black. So it's important to get a light-colored, like, first faha so you know where you're bleeding. You know, if you're bleeding more than you should, you know. So, anyway, it comes with a zipper. And it unzips all the way up to the butt. I have underwear on. So I can, like, I can poop. I don't think I feel comfortable pooping in this, though. And then I like how it has like this thing so I can just like zip it super easily, you know? Yeah, I'm supposed to wear my board under this. So I got this board from Amazon. I'm supposed to wear this under here. I'm also gonna, I'm choosing to do this. I'm also gonna wear this. They didn't tell me to, but I'm gonna do the, the lumbar, the lower back compression. I have mad foams. I'm gonna compress the shits out of my upper back because I hate my upper back so much. I'm gonna make sure. I, okay, obviously, I'm gonna do it safely. I'm not gonna cut circulation off either. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. So I was actually supposed to have my surgery like in the beginning of last month, but I had to reschedule because my iron was too low. Uh, my iron was like at a 10.3 and I need it to be at an 11.5 to be cleared for surgery. So I was literally taking iron supplements. I got these from CVS, 65 milligrams twice a day and then i was taking blood builder by mega food i got this from whole no i got this from sprouts i took like one serving a day i'm also taking heal fast this is supposed to give you all the vitamins and nutrients you need to i guess survive surgery <laughs> not survive but you know whatever for sure get advice from a doctor not me okay i'm just telling you what i did i also got this foam right here you're supposed to put it like in your back like in that little like dip part um and compress that because i feel like you could look so snatched when that is you know looking right i'm gonna link everything in my amazon storefront i will link that down below as well some lipo foams 
this is going to be for to compress for further compression but i'm probably mainly going to use this for my upper back i also got some under pads because i am going to be leaking a lot of fluids because my wounds are going to be open so i'm going to line my bed and i'm going to line the car so i don't ruin the car this came with an extender so if you need a little bit more um you can have a little bit more i got some thigh high compressions in black and these are toeless sometimes i don't like things to be over my toes i got some medical um silicone for my scars i also got some band-aids arnica i heard arnica is essential post-op aquaphor this is like itch relief ointment i heard when you get lipo you're super itchy once your skin is starting to like get back intact with your muscles um honestly like whenever even if you get a cut and it starts healing it's a little itchy um but i also got this like 100 percent silicone scar gel this had like the best reviews on amazon i just i'm gonna do what i have to do to like you know keep my scars as minimal as possible because honey i can scar like my scars be staying this is my side of the nightstand i got some gauze pads right there all of my prescriptions my birth control on deck i also got some bromelain i heard this is really good for bruising um i think it's like essentially just pineapple extract so this is my side of the bed i have a reading pillow right here and then i have a pillow behind it and a pillow above it um i have to be elevated i cannot lay flat for a really long time so i have to get used to sleeping on my back i'm actually gonna move these pillows because i don't want anything in my way when i have to use a bathroom but yeah no i'm like honestly so excited i'm like drinking so much water um that was like the instructions that i was given i also cannot eat past 11 p.m or was it midnight oh my god i forgot well i'm gonna assume 11 better safe than sorry i have to shower in antibacterial soap the night before so tonight and then tomorrow morning i have my massages scheduled I actually have someone coming to me on saturday i think that's when the early, i think that's the earliest i'll probably be able to get a massage okay so all of these are going in my bag i have all my prescriptions in here i have a couple of liners for the car my socks that i freaking dirtied walking around um, I don't know if I'm gonna need this, but I'm gonna bring it anyway. And I don't know if I'm gonna need this, but I'm gonna bring it anyway. And then these are this is my arm compression, and this is my my thumb. So yeah, I'm gonna gonna pack everything in here. So far in here, I have um this is the dress I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. It's just like a maxi dress. Um, I'll, you'll see it in the morning. And then I have my tripod because I'm filming. I had my last meal at like 10 p.m. and my last drink of water at 11 p.m. Um, I took my birth control around 10 30. Typically I take it at 11 45 but I had to take it earlier. Um, now I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to use dial soap because I have to take a shower with antibacterial soap and yeah I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. 20 in the morning i have to leave the house in like 25 minutes i took a shower no lotion no products i feel so dry i put like the tiniest amount of aquifer on my lips i hope that's okay because I, I just can't have dry skin and chapped lips um oh i have to cut a nail let's go do that supposed to bring my birth control but um did you take it yet I, well i took it last night around 10. okay well do you take it every night or you take it every night, night? okay mm -hmm. can you tell me what it is we're doing for you today um lipo 360 upper back arms arm lipo and then um, breast augmentation awesome how tall are you five four 
Any recent weight gain or loss? I gained some weight. Okay. Um, but unexpectedly. We no, I, I've been eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, did you have to get a medical clearance? No. Okay, just labs, right? Yes. Do you have any broken or loose teeth? No. Do you feel calm? Nervous. <laughs> That's expected. <laughs> Did she take any aspirin, NSAIDs, ibuprofen, blood thinning products, anticoagulants in the past 7 to 10 days? No. Okay. Has there been any changes to your history and physical in the past 30 days? Have you had an infection, been to an urgent care, an ER, or started new meds? Okay. Okay. Just watch this one. Mm -hmm. Put these stockings on. Okay. Your heel goes here, your toes go here. Okay. And then you're gonna put these over. It. Okay. And then I'll be right back. Okay, baby. Where do they usually get blood from? Um looks like you might have better veins over here. But yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, there typically isn't a preference. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't the worst part of today. <laughs> this is nothing. This is like a tiny stool. And I'll let you know before I do it. I'm going to feel around a little bit, okay? Okay. I don't know what that was, but I like taste it. Yeah, that's the okay. saline. It does that sometimes. It tastes kind of metallic you yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> I got rescheduled twice. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. My um, my partner follows you. Oh. And, well, he doesn't. He. I told him that we got an influencer. And, oh. like, oh, really? <laughs> and so um, I don't know if he follows Bassin or Canal or mm -hmm. or you. And um, I told him that you were going to be here today, and he was like. Yeah, she had to get rescheduled because her iron was low. I'm like, what? How do you know that? Twice. HIPAA? Like, how do you know that? I really I, You obviously had, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no way you could have known right. that. Right. <laughs> oh, man. I'm Anastasia, your new best friend. <laughs> I need your signature, okay? Okay. Uh, it's the set for anesthesia. I tell people, don't read it today. Wrong day to read it. Okay. So what'd you have for breakfast? Nothing. Right answer, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. I gotta ask you a million questions, okay. and then I'll tell you what's gonna go down, and then you can hit me whatever you whatever I know. Okay. Whatever I didn't tell you. Any drug allergies? No. You take any meds on a regular basis? No. Well, right. birth control. Okay. I always forget. Yeah, that's cool, you know. <laughs> But nothing for asthma, diabetes, high blood pressure, bleeding disorders. How much you weigh? Um, I don't remember. They weigh know. this morning? No. They didn't weigh? <laughs> yeah, the nurses are failing me. What did you weigh last time? Um, the last time, I think I weighed 170. Okay, that sounds good. 172. That puts you, that puts you 85 mm -hmm. kilos. All right. How tall are you? 5'4". Okay. Um, last time anything to eat or drink? Um, 11 p.m. last night. What are you getting done today? I'm getting done um, 360 lipo, upper back lipo, arm lipo, breast augmentation. Okay. Have you had Hooters before? Have I had Hooters? Yeah, breast before. You don't have, you don't have any implants. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, I just, I just, there's a song and dance i got to tell you about that. Okay. Oh. We'll start with that one. Uh -huh. When you wake up, you're going to have two foreign bodies sitting on mm -hmm. five ribs. Each rib's going to tell your head there's something there that wasn't there 30 minutes ago. Uh -huh. Okay? You understand... You know what, what, what pain is with regards to like a burn, a cut, a fall, a bite, but you don't grab 20 pounds to put on your foot to watch TV. Pressure. Yeah. You're going to have pressure three days nonstop, mm -hmm. okay? 
You wake up the fourth day, the implants are there, the pressure is there, your head ignores it. You go from acute awareness to chronic awareness, uh -huh. okay? So the pain medicine is not for your implants because yeah. it don't do nothing, right. okay? Because it's pressure, it's not pain, okay? okay. Uh, I tell everybody, you know, tell, everybody thinks Tylenol is a shitty drug. Tylenol is a great drug because it doesn't constipate you, it doesn't make you nauseous, mm -hmm. you know? One dose of Tylenol ain't worth a shit. It ain't right. gonna do nothing. You gotta do it like every four hours, okay? Mm -hmm. You take two every four hours, and in the middle of that, if you don't have any any relief, take one of those Narcos, okay? okay. The Narco's not very strong, mm -hmm. all right? So here's the deal. If you just take the Narco, by the time you take the fifth or fourth or fifth pill, it's not gonna work anymore. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're taking Tylenol, you're giving your liver something to play with, and then you throw the, tar the narco at it. You see what I uh -huh. mean? So it's, it's like synergism, two different drugs, you know? Yeah. You can only do that the first day, because after that, it's too much Tylenol, yeah. okay? I use a lot of pain medicine, so mm -hmm. you're, you're not gonna uh, hurt when you when you wake up. I'm gonna give you two drugs for nausea. Who's gonna take care of you today? Okay, yeah, my sister. Great. Mm -hmm. Can't be alone. Can't you know? Can't buy a car. Drive a you know. Buy a house. Anything smart today. Oh, I gotta cancel that appointment. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Today's a chill out day, but you can't be a couch potato either. Okay. Right. Okay. If you don't get up today, tomorrow's a bitch to get up. Okay. okay. So you really have to get every. They're gonna tell you every two hours, fifty minutes to ask mm -hmm. bullshit. You just get up, go to the bathroom, go back to your comfortable. You okay. know what I mean? Every couple hours, get up, go to the kitchen, go back to, you know. Okay. Just activities of daily living, okay. you know, that kind of stuff. A healthy young woman. Drink or smoke? No. Boring. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, baby. I mean, I drink occasionally. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I like boring, you know. <laughs> right. See, we rate people from one to six, mm -hmm. okay? One is you. Yeah. Six is somebody who's sick as shit. <laughs> you know, if they have anesthesia, they're gonna die. If they don't have anesthesia, oh, they probably will die. You know, so you're a one. Okay, okay? great. Um, what else? I use a lot of fluids. I'm gonna hydrate you a lot. Oh yeah, when you get to recovery, okay. If you wake up and throw right up, you know, like either, that's anesthesia. Okay. okay. If you wake up, I take you to recovery. Thirty minutes go by. Everything's cool. There, start moving in to get you ready to get out of here. And you start getting nauseous. That's motion sickness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the deal, I'm going to give you two drugs for nausea, they're going to make your secretions real dry, your mouth's going to be real dry, okay, so when you go there, you're going to want something to drink. Don't drink a whole bottle, just drink sips to make yourself comfortable, because okay. if you get the motion sickness and then you get in your car, you have to sell your car if you puke in there. <laughs> oh, you know, see what I mean? Yeah, okay. Okay, so just kind of like, I'm going to give you three, four liters of fluid. Right? Okay. Okay, you're not going to be dry. So it's going to be like a mind thing then. Yeah, it's your mouth going to, it's going to last for like five or six hours, that okay. dryness. Okay. And it's, it's like, I call it the, I call it the, you know when you eat gummies and you get that cotton mouth? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gummy time, okay. you know? <laughs> it lasts for like four or five hours, okay. six at the most. But I'm gonna hydrate the hell out of you, so you're okay. not gonna be uncomfortable. Okay. okay? Any questions, though? Um, I, I don't know. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right now you're like this, you know, when you put those things on a <laughs> yeah, horse, you know. I don't, I don't yeah. see any peripheral, nothing. <laughs> right, right. All right, that's it, baby. He's gonna come and draw on you. After he draws on you, we'll start. Okay. Okay. We're good. Yes. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very really well. <laughs> So how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You know, just... Are you ready for surgery? Yes. Okay, good. All right. So let's talk. Okay. Okay. Today we're doing first of all breast augmentation. Mm -hmm. We're doing some liposuction. Yes. All right. So bigger boobs, tiny waist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Goal is to look as good as possible. Mm -hmm. um, we've talked about all the implants. We've made our selections on the sides and everything like that. Mm -hmm. um, we've talked about the liposuction a little bit. Um, what kind of questions do you have? Anything? Um, no, I'm ready. Okay, I yeah. think you're going to look fantastic. Mm -hmm. You're going to go under anesthesia for this, okay? Okay. Um, you've spoke with my anesthesia guy, so you understand you're going to be going under general anesthesia. Mm -hmm. um, when you wake up, you're going to have a little bit of pain, okay, but we're going to do our best with pain medications. Uh, the next few days, you're going to be a little sore, you're going to be down a little bit, but you'll get through it, you'll be just fine, okay? We've talked about how the breasts are going to take a little bit of time to round out and shape up. Um, but I think you're going to do fantastic. You're going to look beautiful. You already do, but you. you're going to get even better. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, so unless you have anything else to talk about, we're, I think we're ready to go to yeah. surgery. Is that right? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> hey, guys. So I just got marked up. Got some of my arms. 
we're about to go in. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, MJ, the little sis. Oh my gosh, guys, um, without makeup. Uh, don't judge me. You know what? You're welcome, Ram, because, uh, bruh. Anyways. Alright, guys, so this is just an update. So, Ram is finally home. I don't know why I'm showing you the car, but... And we got her some Panera bread and some yummy food. She's getting all cleaned up because I can't see blood y'all. So right now someone's helping her clean up and take off all the blood. And I just fed her. And right now she's just feeling super loopy because of the anesthesia. But it's a lot of blood. So I gave her some nausea medication because she was going to throw up her food or whatever. And I was like... I give you some uh, medication and a big bag. Don't worry about that. But that's not my phone. But anyway, um, so yeah, y'all. Um, that's just an update right now. She's just tired. We're gonna make her walk around the apartment a little bit and then go to sleep. Yeah, guys, I couldn't imagine. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna hit the gym. Hey guys, I feel so much pressure and I'm so sore. But I feel like an elephant is sitting on my chest. I just want the, the pressure to release. They said it's going to take three days. So oh, I'm starting to shake. They told me this was going to happen. The anesthesia is coming out my stomach. It's going to shake. Oh my god. Do you feel cold? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what happened mm -hmm. to me with the epidural. Really? Yeah. I start shaking a lot. Oh, I ate Panera bread. And then I told them. Oh, wait, okay, cool, wait. Guys, she just took her first dose, I guess. <clears throat> her first dose of perks mm -hmm. and uh, muscle relaxers, as well as some um, nausea medication. And we'll start the antibiotic tomorrow. Oh, I have an appointment tomorrow, too. Oh, gosh. I don't know what time. How do you check it? I'm sorry. Where do I check it? He has it. He has it? Okay. For breast implants, because your body's going to be like warning you, like, Hey, Mayday, Mayday, you have something on your ribs. <laughs> it's gonna be like, Miriam, what the fuck is this? What are you talking about, bitch? <laughs> hey, we got a picture. I need it. I need it. Mm -hmm. Take it out. Take it out. You say you might have a headache? Do you want to take that phone off? Goddamn. What? I feel nauseous. Oh. I don't want to cry. Why? I don't know. It's too I'm just gonna give you the instructions. Okay. And then I'm gonna go over. Did you adjust this? It looks really tight. No, I didn't touch okay, it, but I did. Just, the, I think it moved up. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Let me take it on, then okay. I'll give you, because I know that's hurting you. Okay. Let me get um, a surgical bra, and okay. I'll be back. Yeah, okay. because uh, it looks too tight. Okay. Once I take that off, you're going to feel so much better. Okay. Okay, Mama, I'll be back. Okay. Hey, guys. So... I'm two days post-op. I didn't come on yesterday because, guys, I couldn't. Like, I, mm -mm. I was in so much discomfort. There's no way. But right now I'm in a diaper. 
I want to show you guys my body. So here's how my breasts are looking. They're super swollen, like super duper swollen. Whew. I'm so bruised up. You might see some, some blood through the pads. This is how I'm looking. My back rolls are like, hold on. two incision marks back here. By the way, you guys might hear my nephew in the background. But so far I'm loving my results and I have so much swelling. I'm actually about to get a lymphatic drainage massage. She's I think about 30 minutes away. So that's why I have my faha off. And she told me to take my pain medication a few minutes before. But so far, I'm loving how everything's looking. Let's see if I can. This is how the boobs are looking. I like that. That's what I was looking for. Honestly, my boobs aren't as that big. My sister showed they're not as big as she thought they were going to be. But that's okay, because I don't want them to be, like, huge. I just wanted, like you know, some cleavage. Oh. Ooh, wait, am I on camera? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you on my camera? Hi guys. This, this is, is the result. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Of me helping her. Hey. Tired. <laughs> she was so funny because I had asked her to put on this diaper as she was changing my nephew's diaper. And she was like, oh, hold on, wait, I gotta pick a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel a little better. I had my bowel movement today. I hear after you have your bowel movement, you kind of feel better. That's kind of like when you turn the corner. That's what I heard, child. It was very difficult. It took all day to come out. Um, my appetite came back today. My appetite was like gone for the past two days. Like I didn't want to eat anything. Everything was just like nauseating or nauseating. So yeah, um, I feel like fluids crawling under my skin i hate that feeling so yeah but my arms are so skinny Ugh. already you know there's still some swelling but like yeah but anyway all right guys that's my update hey guys i'm with genie <laughs> and we're doing some before pictures this is how I look before. A little swollen. Super swollen, especially <laughs> up here. <sighs> and I feel the fluids running through my skin. And I smell it too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> she is my lymphatic um, drain Mas masseuse, yes. yes massage, therapist. <laughs> massage therapist. And she came to me. I'm so excited. <laughs> but let's get started. <laughs> I'm dripping. Wow. I feel so good. I feel so much better. morning guys <laughs> having a little bit of a rough morning i just like more mostly like a headache and stuff like that like i just feel a little i don't know i don't know what it is i didn't take the percocets today because i feel like that's what made me feel like this this morning i think i'm just gonna stop taking the percocets because I, I don't i don't like yeah exactly i don't like the way they make me feel but Jeannie's here Hi. again <laughs> to give me another lymphatic drainage massage. And I already know I'm going to feel so much better after this. After this, I'm going to rest and then maybe go for a little walk. Because they told me to move. All right, guys. This is where we're at. Well, that's day three. Day 
I don't even know what day it is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so remember to have, yeah, there you go. It's a huge difference from, from last night. Mm -hmm. I can Turn feel, on your side. I can feel the difference. Huge difference. Face the wall. I still have that freaking smell. I think it's in your head at this point. <laughs> Go ahead, turn. Turn the other way. Yeah. At the end of day three. Um, right? Do you count the day you had your surgery? I'm a little winded because I like, I walked around a little bit. Like you want to move. I have my faha on. Sorry, I'm just like a sore. I don't want to take any more pain medication because it does not sit well with me. Those Percocets, my, my body does not like it. I swear they made me feel way worse than what I was actually going through. So I'm not taking that anymore. Right now I have my board on and two foams. So, you know, I don't look like anything right now. But I'll insert like a couple of pictures. This is me after my second massage. Yeah, this massage therapist named Jeannie literally came out from Miami to massage me. Um, the first person to massage me, she was actually great too. I found her super randomly. I was honestly so desperate. I was like, I need to get a massage because I kept flowing fluids. Like I kept, it was just a lot. So yeah, this morning I regretted my decision. I, I'm going to be so real. Like I, I was so, I was in so much distress like it wasn't even funny like I I just you know so crazy it wasn't even like the fact that I was in a lot of pain I just felt nauseous I felt emotional I felt I don't understand what I was feeling I just I just knew I was going through something and I wanted to escape it and I couldn't like I just couldn't escape it and I I regretted my my um decision but now that we're later in the day and I actually ate and took some vitamins and you know I feel better <laughs> um the past couple of days have been really difficult eating I could not eat the past couple of days and I think that contributed to why I felt the way I felt this morning I had no energy nothing I could not eat I couldn't keep anything down um I find that I cannot only eat I can only tolerate plain foods right now so like it can only it can be it has to be super plain Nothing with sauces, nothing with too much salt, onion, like not, it has to be just like white rice, baked potato with a little bit of butter, no salt. There's a smell on me that I don't like. I don't know what it is. No one else around me smells it, but I smell it. I think it's like the fluids in my skin. I think it's like in me. I don't know, but it keeps coming up and it's making me nauseous. I don't know what it is. <laughs> um... Every time I smell it, I'm like, ugh. So I put peppermint on my nose, like, all the time. But anyway, I went to my post-op appointment. I think you guys saw a little bit of that. I'm so sorry. I know, like, the last few clips of this vlog have been, like, literal, literal tiny clips, and then I just move on to the next day. You guys, like, when I tell, I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I really tried. I couldn't do it. Oh, my gosh. But I was a lot. I was so hard on myself because I was like, how come I'm not feeling better already? Meanwhile, it's like a day after surgery. Like, I don't know why I had such high expectations for myself. Like, girl, you're three days post-op. Like, of course you're going to feel like shit, you know? And Dr. Connell literally told me that. He was like, are you sure you want to do this? He was like, you're going to feel like you got hit by a bus. And I'm that bus. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, let's do it. And here I am. I'm like, Ugh, I feel like I got hit by a bus. Good morning. It is day... <clears throat> four or four days after just I had surgery Thursday and today's Monday um last night was a little rough as far as sleeping I could not get a comfortable position I woke up at like five in the morning with a severe migraine it was so bad but it was because my neck like had a cramp in it I'm a stomach like I'm a side stomach sleeper so it's really hard to sleep on my back especially elevated so I had to sleep on the couch like that's the only place I could find comfort um, other than that i feel pretty good i'm about to take all my vitamins um with pineapple juice and my antibiotics i stopped taking all pain meds 
Um, I stopped taking the muscle relaxers. I stopped taking the anti-nausea medication. Um, I got some Denny's here. <laughs> About to have some breakfast. Gonna like start moving around. And yeah, today's a pretty good day. I have an update for you guys. Whew, ouch, hold on me. And it doesn't hurt, it just feels weird because I don't have compression on. So like everything feels so loose. But so swollen here in my vag area. I'm so bruised up. I'm still swollen like here. I, I'm just swollen everywhere, okay? My boobs are still like up to my freaking collarbone. They're supposed to drop. Um, I think he told me it can take up to six months to drop. But other than that, I'm happy. But other than that, guys, look at my back. I don't have any more rolls. And he accentuated my curves. Like he made me look more curvy. I didn't get a BBL. This is just lipo. And he like, like accentuated my hips. Oh, wow. I'm so happy with the results so far. And I have a, such a long way to go as far as healing. So like, oh, I'm so swollen. But yeah, this is an update. This is surgery was Thursday and today's Tuesday. Good morning, guys. My hair looks crazy. One thing I will say, if you're getting a breast augmentation and you're black, get braids. Um, I've just been having a rough, like, week sleeping because, um, sorry, my hair is going to look like this. I can't really, like, I can't. <laughs> That's why I've been in, like, a bonnet and stuff. Honestly, haven't really been, like, and because my hair hasn't been done, that's been another contributing factor as to why I haven't really been, like, posting updates because I feel like I freaking look like shit. I also know you guys don't care. You guys are just here for, like, the updates, <laughs> probably. Yesterday was a pretty good day. I felt pretty good. Um, we had a hurricane come, so I wasn't able to get a massage. Um, so, so far, I've only gotten three massages in the seven days that I've been, like, post-op. So, um, yeah, I've been giving myself massages, but tomorrow is a post-op appointment. It's my second post-op appointment. We're going to be taking the tapes off under my boobs. Um, yeah, right now I feel good. Um, I, I have this, like, temporary, like compression on right now my faja is right here i washed it last night but i have the one that they sent me home with along with some foams and a board under so i look like really big right now i'm like i od'd it with the freaking foams i just want to make sure i'm super compressed and yeah i'm like not draining anymore y'all better come up here and get one of these it's a chicken salad Yo, I swear, our future generation is not gonna know half of the things we're talking about when we throw out these like insiders. But anyway, this is just a salad with Italian blend, honey mustard, cucumber, banana pepper, onions, plant-based chicken, tofu turkey, for those of you who don't know, I don't eat meat and eggs. Mm. This is how we're looking. Don't worry about the, the little marks. It's from my phones. I feel like I need a better process on how to put my phones on because they're leaving like these indentations in my skin. But they usually like subside, they usually go away. This is how the cleavage is looking. My bra smells like freaking blood. Ugh. Okay, so I'm about to give myself a lymphatic drainage massage because, like I mentioned before, we had like a little tropical storm come through and everywhere's closed. So I'm gonna heat up some shea butter. This is 100% shea butter. My goodness, this is a little painful. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. I really, really do. I just want like really good results. Ah! This is so painful. 
Okay, I'm gonna put some of this Arnica everywhere that I massaged. My arm compressions are already too loose for me. Like, I'm already putting it on the last one, and it's too loose. I'm literally on the last one, and my appointment's next week to get this taken in. So I have to start fluffing this up. I already put it on. I'm going to fluff it up later when I shower, but it needs to be tighter. And it's not because I lost so many fluids, that's a good thing. I've been just trying to sit here and edit and I can't, like my arms are going numb and I've been in this position. <sighs> like I can't, I'm like drinking my pineapple juice. I'm about to eat some moth sticks or some string cheese. I was at my, my uncle's house the other day and he had string cheese in the fridge for the kids. And I had one. And I was just a little obsessed after that. Don't mind my nails, guys. Anyone who knows me knows. It's my biggest pet, pet peeve when people have chipped nail polish. I'm literally going to fix this today. Literally. If I'm able to, I'm going to at least take the polish off. I'm not going to walk around with chip polish. I think I'm going to revisit this vlog. I don't think I can sit and edit it anymore. I was editing for too long um, and my feet started swelling. So I went to the couch, elevated my feet. Now I feel so much better. I felt so fatigued. I'm about to do my nails. I'm also watching Manifest season four. It kind of sucks. I'm not even going to lie. But yeah, other than that, we're doing pretty good. I literally stepped on the scale. Guys, I gained like 10 pounds. I know it's fluids and um one of the nurses she like told me like don't step on the scale like you're gonna yeah no she was like you can hold up to 10 pounds of fluids and this and that not to mention now I have like implants but I know the implants are relatively light in weight but like I that's the heaviest I've ever seen myself it's kind of scared me a little bit like I'm like yeah no <laughs> I do know my goal weight, like, for this entire journey. I do want to, like, maintain between 160 to 165. Um, and that scale said 184, so... Yeah. <laughs> but let me do my nails, and... Good morning. It is Friday. I had surgery last Thursday, and today is my seven-day post-op appointments running a little bit of, a little bit late but i want to show you guys how i'm looking i just threw on this like sweatsuit i can't wait until i can wear like cute outfits i know it's gonna be a while before i can but yeah Basically, the point of that is to help prevent any type of capsular contracture, mm -hmm. um, you know, which is basically a complication that can happen after breast surgeries. Uh -huh. um, so we're trying to just prevent that as much as we can. Okay. Um, so uh, massaging two to three times a day. Okay. Um, so I always say do it when you first wake up in the morning, do it at night, and then if you're able to squeeze in one more time in the afternoon, do so. Okay. Um, look at you. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you look so good. Thank you. <laughs> all right, you don't have to take it all the way. Oh, okay. that's perfect. Oh my god, your waistline looks amazing. So, of course, you have some swelling still. Okay. Not a ton, but you do have swelling. Okay. It is very normal to have swelling here as well, okay? okay. Just so you know. Um, so things to look for, um, seromas can happen mm -hmm. after surgery, which is basically like a pocket of fluid mm -hmm. um, that can form, which is not that big of a deal. All we do is we drain it. But okay. what you look for, it's basically like, usually like a round-ish pocket. And when mm -hmm. you touch it, it almost like appears to look like, like a waterbed. <laughs> it looks snatched, girl. 
It looks like your incisions all closed. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I thought they closed early. I was like, wait, I didn't get all my massages in. That's okay. You can still keep doing massages. Okay. <laughs> um, bruising. Are you using Arnica? Yeah, yeah. Arnica's awesome. They went down like a lot. Like it was worse than this. Yeah, so. yeah. Arnica's really, really good mm -hmm. for bruising, for swelling. And like pineapple bromelain. I've been doing that. So. Awesome. That's that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And then you just like go oh, the arm. That's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, your arms look awesome. Oh my god. Okay. Um, don't use anything topical on your skin right now. Okay. Just use the um, oral Benadryl. Okay. Um, and then other than that, you can start scar treatment probably on these incision sites. I'd say give it about another week or so, okay. and you can start scar treatment here. Okay. Um, biggest thing, keep them out of the sun. Mm -hmm. If you are in the sun, make sure you lather them up with SPF. Okay. Okay, because you don't want them to scar more. Okay. Um, and with the boobies, once that's completely healed, usually I'll take a look at it, but probably another week or two, you can start scar treatment there as well. Okay. Um, but when you shower, just make sure you let the soap and water kind of glide over the incisions. Mm -hmm. Don't scrub any of the incision sites. Okay. Um, and then you can still use antibacterial soap if you want to. It's okay. not really necessary at this point because it can kind of dry the skin out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's, that's really about everything. You look so good, girl. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sure you're happy. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm sure you're happy. I'm gonna remove these stereo okay. strips, okay? So everything went well at my appointment today. It's way later in the day. By the way, this is how my nails came out. But everything went well. She just gave me some like hair instructions. I'm able to massage my breasts now. Um, she said I can like lie flat now, but I cannot lay on my side or my stomach. Well, I can't lay on my side for like eight weeks. Stomach is a little different. It might, it might take a minute to get there. So, um, yeah. But she said, don't raise my arms above my head as far as, like, she said I can, like, do this, but don't go, like, straight up, you know, just yet. Just because, like, the incision, like, there's multiple layers that they cut through, and, like, you want to make sure each layer heals properly. So you don't want to stretch anything more than, you know, it can handle, um, I finished my antibiotics today. I'm actually gonna call her tomorrow to see if she can prescribe me fluconazole. If you get yeast infections from antibiotics, it's okay, it's so normal. Um, I learned that it happens because antibiotics essentially like just kills every single like bacteria in your body, you know, pretty much including like the good bacteria so it can throw off your flora a little bit um and it could like you know give you like a yeast infection because you don't have like those good bacteria in your vagina because the antibiotics killed everything so um if you ask them for like just like one if, like a fluconazole prescription they usually will just send it to you and you just take one like right after your um your last dose of antibiotic and you literally will not get a yeast infection. So right now I'm just cleaning up my living room, making it look like a living room again. I'm getting back to work tonight. This time change has me so thrown off. It's like nighttime at five. It's so weird, but I'm working at night. <laughs> but I'm gonna turn on like every single like little ring light I have to like kind of brighten it up in here. And yeah, that's what we're doing today. Hey guys. Eight days post-op. I feel like I've been getting these numbers wrong, but I want to show you guys how I look in regular clothes. I'm actually about to throw my Faha bra on compression in the washer. I'm gonna throw on that temporary compression that they gave me in the hospital, and I'm gonna throw on like a sports bra. Basically, when you get your breast augmentation, you cannot wear anything with underwire for a really long time. I forgot the number that they gave me, but I personally don't wear underwire bras anyway. I freaking hate them. So I don't see myself wearing an underwire bra honestly ever um i was like looking for a sports bra in my laundry pile and i found this dress and i wanted to try it on um so just like really really quick you really don't be out of your compression for a really long time i've only been out of my compression for like five minutes i'm literally gonna throw on my sports bra right after this but i want to show you guys how i look in regular clothes right now i just got a massage she told me that I was like really, really hard. So I need to be getting my massages every day. I haven't been getting them every day, but in my defense, a hurricane came. Okay. <laughs> but I look so good. I also posted a video yesterday and I got a lot of like positive feedback. Here's a video.
My boobs still have to drop. Oh my gosh, this one is really hard. And this one is also the one that's still like up. You know, I don't know if you guys can tell. Okay. Let me not freak out, cause I'm like, why are you so hard? Okay, I'm gonna work on this today. It's really hard to, oh my gosh, it's really hard. Look at it. Let me go put my bra back on. routine last night was the first night i really got some sleep i actually took a benadryl before i went to sleep because um mj the nurse at the um, basin center told me that if i felt any like itching the post lipo itching take some benadryl and my friend lance was here yesterday and he was like hey if you have if if you've been having issues sleeping and you said the nurse so you can take, you can take benadryl for your itching doesn't Benadryl help you sleep? And I was like, it does. So I actually took some Benadryl, knocked me right out. I was literally able to sleep through the whole night. I, I slept through the whole morning. I don't wake up till noon. Best sleep I've gotten in the past week and a half. Right now, I'm about to go for a little walk. Lance's mom was so kind to make me a meal yesterday. She made mac and cheese fish and like some plantains so freaking good however i think like the salt like made me inflamed i'm like extra sore today so i'm gonna go for a walk and then i'm gonna try to give myself like a little massage yeah i'm gonna go for a walk for maybe like 20 minutes i'm not gonna do too much just to get some fluids flowing um i've been drinking a lot of water to pass like you know maybe some of the built-up fluids today is a little bit of a rough day for me but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go for my walk and I'll be back. So I'm walking and I'm honestly gonna listen to my body right now. I think my body is literally telling me, bitch, go the fuck home. I'm exhausted. I've only been walking for like eight minutes. My boob keeps contracting right now, so I'm just gonna go home. Um, the best thing you can do when you're going through something like this is to listen to your body. chip nail I well I did and then my breast started contracting involuntarily and it like it wasn't painful but it was very uncomfortable I, I think I'm gonna go take a shower so I can let some hot water run on me to relax me a little bit and then I'm gonna give myself a little massage and then I think I'm gonna call it a day I think I need a rest and yeah Hey guys, so I was editing the vlog and I realized that I didn't really end it off well. I just kind of like just stopped recording once I started feeling a little better. Guys, I'm feeling so much better. I freaking love my results so far. Um, I currently, I'm out of compression temporarily. I'm literally out of compression to film this video and another TikTok video that I'm going to do right now. And I want to take a photo do not literally don't be out of your compression for too long i'm literally going to be out of compression for like no more than 15 minutes i'm going to speed through these videos that i have to do today but 
freaking love my results. So far, here are how the girls are looking. Um, they still have to drop just a little bit more. I still have a little bit of swelling. It's so weird. Like, you can feel... If I move my boob in a specific way, my boobs in a specific way, I can feel, like, fluids moving under. And I googled it, and apparently, like, that's normal. That's just, like, your fluids in your, in your breasts. I don't know. But anyway... <laughs> Like, I look so freaking good. Dr. Connell did such a good job. Love his team. Love his whole office. Everyone is so supportive. So I wanted to show you guys how I'm looking so far. I know the lighting is probably really, really bad. But this is how I'm looking so far. Don't mind my hair, okay? It, it, it was only meant to look good from the front. I didn't realize I was going to be turning around. I actually did realize it. I just forgot not sucking anything in literally not sucking anything in and this is how i look <laughs> i'm so happy i think i'm gonna keep this vlog at just uh here's how the whole experience went if you guys have any questions please put them down below or dm me on instagram at epitome of classy and the next video I do that's like related to surgery is going to be like a QA. and a I'm going to I'm gonna, literally going to sit down and that video is going to be like a dedicated question and answer video. So if you guys have any questions about my procedure or want to know anything about my experience for sure just hit me up. I do also want to end this video off by saying girl if you want to get plastic surgery and you're healthy and you're doing it for the right reasons which is for yourself to make yourself happy, to make yourself more confident. And if you're doing it in a way that you're not going to be hurting yourself or any other people, go for it. Do it. Like, literally do it. <laughs> like, I am so happy with my body. It's not even funny. Like, <laughs> I'm so happy I did this. Like, honestly, I've been wanting to do this for so long, and I'm so, so happy I ended up doing it. So... Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. But thank you guys so much for coming along this journey with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up on IG or comment them down below. And yeah, love you guys. Oh my, oh my.